If you track us across the next three million years, how did our ancestors survive when they're basically chimpanzees on the open savanna? The basic story is that by this point, Australopithecus has become bipedal. If you watch a chimpanzee throw, it's terrible at it. When they throw, they're inept, they can't aim very well, and they typically use two hands. If you watch a really good thrower, it's a full body motion. You step forward with the other leg, there's this rotation in the very last minute, you bring your wrist through. What that does is it creates an enormous amount of elastic energy, and the end of that throw for a human is like the snapping of a rubber band. Chimps can't do that. They're not lined up properly. Australopithecus got to the point where they could probably do that pretty well. Purely a byproduct of bipedalism because it stretched out their whole body and they don't, they're not climbing as much anymore so their musculature is more lateral. So now you get to a point where they have access to the single most important military invention in history which is the capacity to kill at a distance. It changed everything with throwing and the reason it changed everything was the first reason why we should have any effective collective action.